In this video we're going to look at what amplitude modulation is and discover how a diode detector works and extracts the audio from an amplitude modulated signal. Within the circuits of many domestic broadcast radios there's a simple diode detector. Although better circuits are often used now, the diode detector found favour because it was cheap and very effective. Before looking at the diode detector itself, let's first take a look at what amplitude modulation or AM actually is and how it carries information like audio. The basis of any AM signal is called a carrier. This is the radio frequency signal without any modulation applied whatsoever. Next we need to obtain the audio signal. This is used to control the amplitude of the overall signal. This can be done using some form of mixer in the transmitter. It can be seen that the result is that the level of the radio frequency carrier is changed or modulated by the audio. At the receiver end, the next issue is to recover the audio from the overall signal. How do we do this? It's often done using a simple diode detector. With an ideal diode characteristic, no current flows in the reverse direction and there's no resistance in the forward direction. In reality, the actual characteristic is more like this. A very small amount of current flows in the reverse direction and in the forward direction, it takes a certain voltage for the diode to turn on properly. This turn on or knee voltage is between 0.2 and 0.3 volts for germanium, about 0.5 or 0.6 volts for a silicon diode, and around 0.2 to 0.3 volts for a Schottky diode. When an alternating signal, like a radio signal, is applied to a diode, only half the waveform passes through. Half is removed because current can only flow in one direction. To see how this works for amplitude modulation, we look at the RF signal. And to help, we've illustrated it by including a red line to show what is called the envelope. The signal is passed through the diode, and this removes one half of it. This is then filtered or smoothed to remove the radio frequency components, and this audio can then be passed into an audio amplifier. An example of a simple diode detector is seen here. The signal from the previous stages of the radio is applied to the diode. A capacitor is present to remove the unwanted RF elements, and then this is applied directly to the volume control and the audio stages. Like all circuits, the diode detector has advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, it's very simple and can easily be built using a single diode, and its simplicity also means that it's very low cost. But it also has some disadvantages. It's not very linear because of the characteristic of the diode, and this introduces distortion. The detector is not particularly sensitive and needs relatively large signals to operate as a result of the diode turn-on voltage. It's also prone to the effects of selective fading. This is the distortion that's often heard on short wave bands as signals fade in and out. In summary, the diode detector is very useful, but it has its limitations. Its simplicity has meant that it has been in use for very many years and will remain in use for many years to come. 